Welcome back to the Noshing with Nina show. We are here at the Nywift Muse Awards here in Manhattan early on this cold, blustery winter morning. And we have all of the honorees behind me who are uh, receiving awards presented by Nywift New York Women in Film and Television and their annual Muse Awards. It's a star-studded event every year in December. It's really a, a wonderful place where women are honored and respected and our, our work is, is pushed and promoted. So we're here with the fabulous filmmaker Julie Dash. Of course, she is an icon in the women's community, women's filmmakers. We are so proud of your work and your film, Daughters of the Dust. Just, it motivated me to pursue this field. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, what you're planning now for the future, what you're involved in. Oh, I'm working on several projects, one of them being uh, a story about the early life of uh, Miss Rosa Parks. Uh, and as you know, I did the CBS movie about Rosa Parks, That's you know, right. about 10 years ago. So we're going a little further, d drilling down a little deeper. I'm also working on a project, a series called uh, Eleanor Roosevelt's Battalion, and it's about the uh, African American women who served overseas during World War II. Oh, beautiful. So when can we look forward to seeing that? Well, we're still um, um, developing it, and the scripts are being written, and uh, hopefully sometime soon. And then there's also another documentary project that I'm working on about Verna Mae Smart Grosvenor, who was a culinary anthropologist, and the name of that um, documentary is Travel Notes of a Geechee Girl. Oh, well, we will make notes of all of that and have them uh, keep track of them so we can keep our viewers apprised of what's going on. Now, I wanted to ask you this, in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein scandal, mm -hmm. what would you say to women who want to pursue film, um, film careers? Uh, Film careers are just like any other industry, corporation, or even uh, wherever you go, you're going to find that. And so the, just the fact that we are fighting back against that now and that it is so much in the media and people are leaving jobs and being fired, um, it's a good thing. And um, hopefully um, things will begin to change in the wake of uh, all of that. Um, these are things that have been going on for years and many, many people have known about it and nothing was being done and now uh, there's movement and it's, uh, and it's all good. Yes, yes, we just found out last night about Tava Smiley, unfortunately, being dismissed from PBS, so it just seems to be... I didn't even hear about that one. Yes, yes. just last night. And this is two days after Alabama just went blue. So there's change in the air. Yes, and it's all very good. I mean, I'm still, you know, celebrating that. Yes, yes. The Roy Moore defeat. Yes, yes. Now tell us a little bit about your personal background. You are from where? What part of the I'm, country? I'm from New York City, from right here. From Long Island City in Queens. Um, born and raised here. Uh, relocated to Los Angeles uh, in the late 70s, and um, here I am back Fantastic. for the Muse Awards. <laughs> yes, yes, our fabulous recipient. Now, what made you decide to pursue a career in film? Oh, let's see. Um, I just kind of stumbled into it when I was a high school student attending the Studio Museum of Harlem, and I was attending a cinematography workshop. And it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed learning uh, how to use all the technical things, technical tools to making films, cameras, the lights, the uh, sound. And uh, next thing I know, I was majoring in that in undergraduate school, then majoring in that in graduate school, and then here I am. Fantastic. Now, Daughters of the Dust, how did that come about? Oh, my goodness. Um, I've always been a fan of uh, foreign movies, foreign films, and I just felt it was time for uh, a film to be made about, you know, historical um, elements of African American history that had not been uh, revealed <laughs> before, uh, and a film that was so authentic to the culture and traditions of African Americans that it would appear as if it's a foreign film. 
Yes, it's so beautifully shot. The cinematography is just gorgeous. And I do have some Geechee in my family background, so we were happy to see that. <laughs> so any uh, closing words for us on the Noshing with Nina show? I am just so happy to be here with the whole Nina family, and I'm pleased to have received this award, and um, let's enjoy the day. <laughs> yes, and it's too early for me right now. That's why I'm very tumbling with my questions. <laughs> no but yes, problem. let's have some champagne and get to the party. Yes. Thank okay. you so much, Julie Dash. Thank you. Congratulations.